hello, good morning. I am Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk a little Beastie Boomer action for Wednesday, August 17th here. Last night's stack was uh, uh, bad news. They scored, Texas scored one run, but in my videos, rarely do I go back and mention the results from yesterday's news because it's DFS, and that's the beautiful thing about the, this DFS beast. We move on and we get at the next slate, and that's what we're going to do today. Before I get into there's a lot of action today. Before I get into all that, just make sure you go to the website team rise or fall when you get there make sure you use promo code beast you get ten dollars off your first month of premium services and i've been saying this for like six months actually for sure in every video for about six seven weeks maybe even three months something like that and we are on the cusp of the nfl week one season and there's no place you're going to want to be other than team rise or fall we got projections cores and did you ever forget and maybe you never even knew that mitch and i get together for like three four hours every single Sunday morning leading up to lock live and we go every, go, go through excuse me every game with a fine tooth comb so go there use promo code beastie and if you do it now you'll get a little MLB action you can use the study hub leading up to football and you'll be all good to go with, with all the coaches here Mitch and I and the study hub you there's nothing there's nothing more beautiful in life than that when we look at today's schedule it is a big one all day 15 games literally every team in the baseball world is playing today in the major league baseball world is playing today and that stuff all day slate 15 games that one locks at 12 35 main slate on FanDuel nine games 705 same thing on DK nine games 705 same exact thing on Yahoo so here we again we have a main slate that's in unison across the board let's bring in the study hub let's bring in the stacks tool let's bring in the projections and see what we can get into today Bye -bye. Hey, hello. Welcome back. Here we are. This is the study hub. I haven't said it in about a week. So something, something driver's seat. Here's the free discord link right there. Boom. You click that and it takes you to where you want. We don't want to look at my Twitter. I forgot. That's very unprofessional of me. Here we go. Here's the fan duel batter matchup. Here's the DK batter matchup and here's the projection. So now yesterday I know uh, CG or someone at Team Riser Fall cut the clip to open this exact moment in time here and I, I I told you I already had it brought up which team I was into and maybe that was that, that was my fault. I had a little sprinkle, a little bit of bad luck because I'm superstitious and I like it here. Nobody knows which way is he going to go. Both, what, no, which way is he going to go here and I'm telling you now there's just something calling me to Houston at the Chicago White Sox when you look at this one the Astros have won four in a row to move to 34 games above 500 for the first time since the end of the 2019 season they're 17 and 7 against the White Sox since the start of the 2018 campaign and have lost their last two series though at guaranteed rate field which is on in Chicago on the south side however you want to do it so when you you look at this one, uh, Houston was absolutely embarrassed on Monday, so I would imagine there's some, a little bit of a revenge factor on their mind here. And the White Sox, four games above 500, as I mentioned, that the AL Central's a, a mess. One thing I do know, Tigers have no skin in this game. When we look at the White, or excuse me, the Houston Astros, that's the team I want to really focus in on here. Uh, it's game three of a four-game series, as I said. Houston, it, one of the best teams in baseball, let's be honest. 33 games above 500. And uh, Jose Yacurdi pitched last time out. But when we look at Houston today... I got some really wild betting trends too, and I'll get to that. But the Houston Astros, they're going to come into this game with just like ready to punch, ready to fight here. So let's start with the first guy that bats for Houston, and that's Jose Altuve in the one hole. I'm not, I don't have to say much about Jose Altuve. Guy's been around a long time. We know what it brings. You know, it, it's pretty much. This is what a good professional ball player is. Uh, you know, height, uh, who cares if he's five foot? Who cares if he's seven foot? When you're at the plate, this guy can get it done. When you have runners in scoring position, that's who you want it to play. And normally, if we look back, we're going all the way back. That Houston had a stud a leadoff hitter in George Springer. Altuve was number two. Now with Springer gone in Toronto, Altuve's been that guy. And look at what what is he, what he's got across the board. It's It doesn't stand out, right? Jose Altuve isn't going to win you a a full slate on his own with three bombs and you know seven rbi and so but but look at all the screen 
It's all above average. It's some of it is uh, uh, well above average. Dare I say a little bit elite? So to me, Jose Altuve just gets it done. He is just a ho hum kind of player. And sometimes DFS sports betting, it's not about those splash plays. And I want this guy to hit a ton of home runs at his price tag. And we look at his value tier and all that. Jose Altuve, you put him in your lineup. It's a set it and forget it kind of thing. If you're on Houston tonight, which I am, going up against right-hander Michael Kopich, who is good, and we've seen some flash from him but they keep you know pulling in the reins and that's all well and good he's had some arm surgery finally back at it very young kid so we will see let's move on let's go back to the fan duel we'll do number two in the batting order here uh, and, and let's see what we get I love this I have it all in front of me but I think it's it, it's more fun to just kind of you know fly by the seat of our pants here and that is Yuleski Guriel. now if you haven't heard of this guy uh, I, I don't know what you've been waiting for he's been a waiver wire ad when you look at his fan duel rating here 16.61 I know I said yesterday that uh, I who the heck was it yesterday that I said I've no, no I haven't seen a lower rating on fan duel or DK in my life but uh, here we go just follow the 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 bright red uh, circle here. When we look at Yuli Gurriel, that's about what you know him from. Yuli Gurriel, uh, on base 290, slugging 379, 32 ribbies, uh, eight stolen bases. So that's what we're after in the two hole. We know Altuve can get on, maybe uh, advance the runner, and then Gurriel comes in and, and he's on base and he does what he needs to do. And when you look at Gurriel here, ownership percentage on DK, 3.4%. And somehow, some way on DK, his projection tier is a B and his value tier uh, is an A. Let's type in Gurriel on the projections here because I'm, in I'm interested in this and I knew. Yearly Guriel, and I feel like a dummy, like it was some new player that we've never heard of. But I leave it to Team Rise or Fall to be prim and proper, be very gentlemanly, have manners, and here we go. Yuli Guriel, 9.86 on, on FanDuel at least, and ownership percentage, 2.7%. Sweet, all well and good. Let's go to the three spot here, and now we're talking. As you can see, Jordan Alvarez. This guy has been an absolute monster all season, so why why would I why would we get away from Jordan right now? Let's look at some of the numbers on the study hub, and then I'll read you a stat line. I mean, that's pretty easily found. I, I, I'd like to guess and see. see I'm going to guess right now. And I swear to you, you can't see me, obviously, my face, but you can hear me. I'm going to guess just what his stat line is this season, and we'll see how how well it lines up. I'm going to say Jordan Alvarez's slugging percentage is like 650. I'm going to say his on-base percentage is like 450. And I'm going to say Alvarez's average is like 310, 312, something like that. And I know without a doubt... Uh, Jordan's got at, le at least 30 home runs, right? Uh, one or two stolen bases, something crazy like that. Ribby's probably close to 80. Uh, and, and home runs, what did I say, 30? And runs scored, that's a tough one to predict, right? I'm going to say 80, 75 or 80 here. When we look at Jordan Alvarez here, and I'm not going to go through his stat line now and correct myself. So if you're in the chat, let, or, you know, let me know if I was close or, or what the heck happened here. Because I feel good about those numbers I just said on about Jordan Alvarez. Not really... Uh, anything useful for a DFS video, but hey, I'm having fun. You're here. I'm here. Let's run it. His ownership percentage, only thing that's a problem, but again, with Jordan, it doesn't matter. One one swing of the bat, this guy pays dividends. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me for price tag and everything across the board. A plus uh, fan dual projection tier, uh, DK value tier is a C. I think I know why. Let's look it up here. We'll see what we can get for Alvarez and uh, and, and we'll get the heck out of here. I don't want to keep us here all, all day. And again, as the baseball season, uh, it's not winding down. It's just getting good, at least in my mind. But I know a lot of folks have football on their mind. There's Jordan Alvarez, 11.25 DK projection. And that's why he's under 12 and his price tag on DK is dang near 6K. Ownership percentage, 6.50. All well and good. A left-handed bat against a young, up-and-coming right-handed pitcher in Michael Coppage. Let's go to... Well, uh, drum roll, please. I, I I don't know why I said that. I hate when people do that. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Alex Bragman in the four spot. And when you look at five, Kyle Tucker, I'm going to do the, both these guys simultaneously. I can't believe I just said that. I'm not going to do them in the way you think I'm going to do them. I'm going to talk about Kyle Tucker and Alex Bragman from a DFS perspective, both at the same time. Oh, God, that's going to be a... A sweet sound clip if anybody catches it here. Kyle Tucker in the fifth spot. Alex Bregman in the four hole. When you look at both guys on DK... 
their their projection tier is an A. Ownership percentage, not an issue. Kyle Tucker, you, you could pair him with Jordan Alvarez, and I'd be cool. You don't need a five-man stack on DK or a four-man Houston stack on, on FanDuel. I would be, seriously, I would be perfectly happy with just like a, a little two, one-off, two-offer here with, with Jordan Alvarez and Kyle Tucker here. You look at their ownership percentage, nothing crazy. Yes, the first update of the morning was a few hours ago. That will kind of, you know, go through the day and things will fluctuate and go from there. Uh, but that's about it. Let me bring my face back in and we will get the heck out of here. I'll give you a final score and I'll see you. Hey, here we are. Thanks for being here with me, you know, for a few days back. And you know what? The stuff, when you talk on a microphone or in a camera, I mean, I, I don't know. Some people, uh, they get weirded out by it or, you know, you got to do it every day. It's a repetitive thing. And I, I absolutely agree. I am no, like, big time broadcasting anything. But a few days off and it's like, what the heck? I, I lost all the mojo I had in a way. But, hey, uh, here we are. Again, anybody out there, correct me in the chat it, where I was at with Jordan Alvarez's projections. Please don't pull the clip of me saying I'm going to do Alex Bregman and Kyle Tucker at the same time. I was talking from a DFS perspective, fingers crossed, and we'll move on. When we look at this one, I, I believe, you know, Houston's going to have revenge on their mind. They're going to pound the White Sox here. I'm looking at a final score. Again, fully stackable game for me. I'm looking at a final score of Houston like 7-4, to 7-5, to five, something like that. So stack up Houston. You want a little sprinkle of uh, White Sox in the same lineup, that's fine. Or we can use both stacks, secondary, elsewhere. And, and we'll move on from there. Before I split, make sure you go to the website, Team Riser Fall, or on Twitter, at Team Riser Fall. You can use the promo code BEASTIE as it's popped up on the screen, uh, this side right there. It's around there somewhere. And use that promo code. You get $10 off your first month of premium services. And right now, that's the time to get in. Right now, they got a bunch of promos going away, but uh, use promo code Beastie. It helps her out. She's going through lick sticks like crazy after I've been home from a long weekend, so she would very much appreciate that. So would I. So would the website. So be good, be safe, and I'll see you tomorrow, Thursday already, August 18th. Until then, be good. I'll see you later. Bye.